I'm looking for a parasite. Some of them can actually infect humans. I'm going to extract this DNA. We could definitely get some flying into the nets here. Trust me, these guys are elusive too. The Environmental and Conservation Sciences Graduate Program is an interdisciplinary program that builds on established research strengths. The net here is to capture any of the free-flying bats that would be coming down this, this corridor here. Right ECS here. provides a collaborative framework to integrate research and education across disciplines to resolve complex environmental issues facing North Dakota and our nation. My research is the first ever statewide study of bats in the state, which is a really cool thought just in itself, uh, that no one else has done what I'm doing now. I feel very excited because this is one of the cutting edge technology research in this microbiology field. What we do here mimics what a lot of the students in ECS program work on, working on issues concerning global climate change, biodiversity, invasive species, water quality, in areas such as Antarctica all the way to Alaska. We also have students applying both field techniques as well as emerging tools in the areas of molecular genetics and nanoparticle science. ECS students are doing research in multidisciplinary fields. A182. Ranging from conservation of fish, frogs, bats, to microbiology and environmental application of nanotechnology. And that should be all we need from her. Students also do an intermixing of research in all these fields. For example, nanoparticle microbes interaction and groundwater remediation. I started my journey here with a field that is very, very interdisciplinary. I am a microbiologist and I feel very comfortable doing working in environmental microbiology, which deals with pollution control. The ECS program is it's sculpting me for future scientific research and also giving me the grounds for the knowledge necessary and also the ability to speak with other scientists outside my discipline. What is the potential as a habitat of a stream? One cornerstone of this curriculum is a regular outreach seminar series. Local professionals as well as nationally recognized experts provide seminars, workshops and mini courses to ECS students. There we go. ECS graduate study is a point to begin. You can choose your field according to your interest. The goal of going to graduate school is to become specialized in a certain area, but at the same time you want to have that broad perspective. ECS pretty much hands it to you on a platter and gives you every opportunity you need. The ECS program includes biology, zoology, botany, civil, and soil science. The ECS program is great for me because I can combine my interests with wildlife and animals along with the interest I have in wildlife diseases and parasites. But the ECS program, what it's doing is it's trying to help shape us to not only go beyond our own field, but try to help bring in this collaborative type of work amongst faculty and other students involved in the ECS program. Join the Environmental and Conservation Sciences program at NDSU, where the diversity of projects is as diverse as the students. I'm Paul, and I study bats in North Dakota. I'm Brianna, and I study wildlife parasites. I'm Dithi. I like wastewater microbiology. My name is Justin Fisher, and I work on frogs, and this is a leopard frog. How would you like to study? Mm -hmm.